So, so far on the climb here, it's been a gradual climb, a couple steep spots, but nothing too bad. Still got about 2,500 more to climb and about four and a half miles. So now the feet per mile has increased. So it's going to get steep, that's for sure. When that happens, I don't know, but I digress. I look forward to it regardless, because I love to climb. I am thinking about stopping and grabbing some food out of my backpack here though, as I'm getting a little hungry. I was gonna try to wait till I got up on top of Killington. <laughs> I keep wanting to call it Kilimanjaro. <laughs> Kilimanjaro is in my head for the last couple years because it's one of the seven summits of the world. Each summit has, or I'm sorry, each continent has its tallest summit and Kilimanjaro is the one for Africa. I was actually supposed to do that last year before coming out on the AT last year, not this year. And I uh, end up having to change that plan. Uh, we'll go back someday, but now I might do, uh, well, I can't pronounce it, Aqua Nagua or something like that. Uh, it's the one in South America. Uh, I might do that one first before Kilimanjaro, but a lot of things to do before then. So who knows when that will happen. Uh, state summits, <laughs> state high points, the world high points, each continent's highest point, through hikes galore for the rest of my life and summiting all the mountains. <laughs> A lot of stuff to do. It's never going to stop because I'm living life. But right now, Killington is the one at hand and about four and a half miles ago, 25, 2400 feet of elevation and uh, be standing on that summit probably with a little bit more food in my belly. <laughs> Whew, that one moved a little bit on me. And this one's moving a little bit on me. Great. <laughs> All right, I think I got it now. Oh, jeez, I might get wet on this. Oh, well. Man, I have problems getting my balance on these stupid rocks. <laughs> if I came over here, now I'm back over here. <laughs> I had to shut it off for a second because I had to put both poles down to get a good grip. Man, those rocks were slippery for some reason. But I made it over. <laughs> All right, where am I going? Okay, I'll go over here and then up. That wasn't my most graceful water crossing. <laughs> Those rocks were all moving all over the place and they're all pointy on top and I couldn't get a good grip. Didn't want to get my feet soaked. It got a little wet on the bottom, but not too bad. Wasn't afraid of falling in and getting soaked or anything but didn't want my feet getting wet caused blisters still got a lot of miles to do today so tried to not do that tried to stay dry as much as possible but i made it across <laughs> maybe not graceful wasn't the easy way and it wasn't the hard way but it was fortune's way <laughs> still climbing about two and a half miles from the summit hasn't been bad at all quite gradual anywhere from four to six hundred feet per mile and uh you have some steep moments but then it flattens out it's not like a constant climb like i was thinking it was going to be 
And it's not a lot of rocks either. Just a little bit of rocks and roots. A lot of it is pretty nice trail. So very pleasant so far. I'm not there yet though. <laughs> I think it's about another 1500 feet of elevation still. So see what happens on that in this last couple miles. Gets a little more rugged as we get closer to the summit. Nearing in around 3,500 feet of elevation right now. 35 feet. I mean, 3,500 feet in the air, that is. Not 3,500 feet hiked yet today. I think I'm about 3,200 right now hiked today. Still just a gradual climb up here, nothing bad. It gets steep at times though, however. Like this little section right here, kind of steep, but not bad at all. Getting a little cooler as I get to the summit too, as well. I don't know what word I just said there. <laughs> oh boy. Sometimes you're breathing out and talking at the same time and words don't come out right. All right, keep on climbing. See you further down the trail or at the top. We shall see. <laughs> that would have been a different angle for you to see me fall down with. <laughs> so beautiful here. These big roots. Big rocks with moss on them. Pine everywhere. Really rugged look here. Just going to get better. As I go towards New Hampshire and Maine. Getting closer. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is getting pretty beautiful. Mm-hmm. A little bit of scramble in here. Hmm. I don't like that as much as I like this one over here. It's just a little taste of what's to come in New Hampshire. 
it's beautiful i'm telling you the only reason i'm going to go super slow through a lot of it i think is because it's so darn beautiful all this ruggedness i'm going to keep stopping and taking it in still get my miles it'll just take me a lot longer to do it <laughs> Whew. about one and a half one and a quarter to the lodge and uh then another point two miles on a side trail to get to the summit um it's pretty leveled out at this moment i'm going to have about one to two hundred more feet to the lodge and then the side trail goes to the summit i believe that's the way it is <laughs> the way it looks on the map i know it's point two on a side trail but i think it the side trails at the lodge but maybe the lodge is actually on the side trail as well but anyway once I get to the side trail, I'll have about another 400, it looks like, of really steep. <laughs> 400 feet in 0.2 miles. That's pretty steep. So that looks like how it will end in another one or 200 feet in the next little over a mile here, which isn't much at all. So it's going to be kind of flat here, walking on the ridge. Ridge line to the side trail. And I'm starting to see the views through the trees. So you know you're getting close when you see that. This is a heck of a beautiful climb, that's for sure. Again, I did not see the marker. I've been looking and I'm a mile past. But I just passed the 1700 mile marker, which means since I'm a mile past it, I have 496 miles to go and 1,700 miles of my Appalachian Trail through hike is in the bag. All right, here's the side trail, 0.2 miles to the summit of Killington. Almost there. They weren't joking about this being one steep side trail. Mm. A little bit of scrambling, but not too bad. Just big steps that wear you out. I mean, I could walk slower. What fun is that? <clears throat> yeah, baby making me work to put this one in the bag. What do you think of that, Killington? They're gonna put you in the bag, bro. I mean, sis. <laughs> Forgot, oh, mountains are girls to me. She's gonna be a beauty. But she's being mean right now. <laughs> oh, man. Fortune's getting windy. Fortune needs a new tip on his pole. <laughs> I have one of those coming. Be at the notch hostel when I get there. In New Hampshire. I don't know. Uh, longest point two mile of my life. <laughs> I don't think. Point two mile. I think. We're going to have to get the adjusters out here to adjust this. <laughs> All right, 
Uh, I'm gonna get some water and continue on. See you at the summit. That's beautiful. Heck yeah, that's beautiful. If I have one more branch, flick me in the nipple. Well, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> it already hurts. It's a big step, bro. Oh, I don't know if you could tell, but that's freaking beautiful back there. Let me hold my poles. Well, it's too late to change that now. Though. Oh man, beautiful. Standing on the summit of Killington Peak. Heck of a climb up that side trail. But I'm here and these views are epic. Best views in Vermont, as far as I'm concerned so far <laughs> absolutely beautiful Whew. second highest peak in Vermont right here and Killington Peak is in the bag Thank you. Hello. Those little kids sure was friendly up there at that summit. They came from the backside somewhere. I don't think those little kids climbed up anything like this side trail. I should have found out where they came from and went down that way. <laughs> oh my goodness. I only have to go down there. <laughs> Much more fun coming up than going down. All right, I don't think I'll be holding the phone for this. One more view of the beautiful view up here at Killington. So I'm down from Killington Peak. Stopped and had some donuts. <laughs> you know, fortune vitamins. <laughs> Starting a descent, which is really not too much of a descent yet. A little bit down, then goes up, a little up, a little down, a little up, a little down. I think I've maybe dropped a couple, a couple hundred feet from where I started. But that side trail coming down, that's a different story, 400, 400 feet and 0.2 miles. That wasn't fun. Went, went, uh, I mean, I guess it was kind of fun. It just took too long. <laughs> it, uh, it's not my favorite thing to do is steep downhills on rocks because it definitely takes too much time for me to do it. I'm not very agile and I have the vertigo thing, so I have to go super slow on it. That will be something that definitely slows me down in the whites. It's coming down steep descents. Uh, Whatever. Dude's been doing it for a long time. I just have to go super slow when I do it. I usually make up for it when I'm going up the hill, though. <laughs> uh, so, Killington Peak with some killer views. 
at least it didn't kill me on the way down. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> oh. If you thought that you may have seen a blue blaze right there or two, you would be correct. <laughs> I am on a side trail right now that goes by the ski ski lift or something and uh, of Pico Peak, which is considered the sister of Killington. Uh, I don't know if I'll have time to summit, but uh, there's supposed to be some really good views here and of the uh, ski resort or ski lift or ski something, <laughs> wherever they ski, as you can see, I'm not a skier. <laughs> but then there's supposed to be some really cool stuff like some sinkholes or something that I wanted to check out. It basically runs right along the AT, except like on the other side of Pico, I think, Pico Peak. Um, the other thing is, this is actually the old AT. So at some point they changed it from here to over there and maybe it was because of those sinkholes, I don't know. Uh, but I don't know yet what I'm gonna do if I'm just gonna go down here to Pico Peak and then turn around and go back on the AT or I might just keep going on this Blue Blaze because, you know, it is the old AT. So technically I am still on the AT, uh, just a different version of the AT. I'm not losing any miles. It's the same length as the AT. It's like, it's like a five mile thing up to north. And uh, so is the AT. So about the same amount of elevation and everything. So I might continue to just keep going or I might turn around and go back to, I don't know yet, but um, probably won't have enough time to summit Pico, which kind of stinks because I like to summit everything I possibly can. Uh, but it's not on the AT. It's a side trail even off this. The old AT. It's a side trail off the old AT. Uh, so it's getting later. So I don't know if I'll really have time to do that. And I want to get camp set up in a reasonable time. So just kind of see what happens. But it's a little more rugged over here, I believe, than uh, the new AT. So be interesting to see what the trail looks like. So far, it's beautiful. But then again, so is the AT. <laughs> Just a beautiful area, that's all there is to it. So I'm gonna continue on and see what we can see here and see what I'm gonna do from there. Cool little building, not sure what that is. Uh, it's funny that there's a blue blaze off of the blue blaze. Here's another blue blaze. <laughs> I think this is the one I'm supposed to be on. I better check my map just to make sure. Because when you have a blue blaze coming off a blue blaze, it can be confusing. <laughs> so that building was called Pico Camp. I guess it's uh, like a base camp or something for the summit that people could stay at. Uh, Pico Peak, that's what that other trail was, the blue trail, off of the blue trail. 
Um, I decided against it. I don't have enough time right now. And I can't summit every stinking mountain, even though I want to. Sometimes time just doesn't allow it. And I need to be able to set up camp. And that Pico camp didn't look like it's really open. And I've seen comments that it wasn't open. Um, but also, it's just too early to camp right now. I need to keep going until I'm ready. Uh, probably another six or seven miles still. So, going to check out these sinkholes and then get back on the AT. What I want to know is... Where do I get the de Gallo? <laughs> uh, that's all I can think about with Pico Peak is I want a burrito now. Maybe some nachos. Mm -mm -mm. Shouldn't have things named after foods when you're out here on a through hike. It's going to drive me insane for the next few hours. Thanks, Pico. And this is the reason it was all worth it to come on the side trail that used to be the AT. I have no idea why they changed it the other direction, or not the other direction, but to the other trail, because this is absolutely magnificent. Wow. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. Have I told you? Have I told you how beautiful it is? <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, wow. One more time. I guess there's a sinkhole. I guess I thought it would be much bigger than that. That <laughs> just looks like not a sinkhole. I mean, it does kind of look like a sinkhole, but I'm sure the camera doesn't show exactly how big that is. I don't know. I don't know. It didn't impress me much. I got to tell you that. Not at all. There's another sinkhole. Okay, that one looks more like a sinkhole. I don't know what that other one was. wonder what happened here to cause sinkholes. I don't know enough about that kind of stuff to know what causes a sinkhole. Maybe flooding? Erosion? Fortune don't know. Fortune climbs mountains. Fortune does the things in the forest. Fortune doesn't know botany. Fortune, Fortune doesn't know the sinkhole thing. <laughs> From all my time in Florida, I think my head went to a different kind of sinkhole. <laughs> There's a lot of sinkholes in Florida. Some of those sinkholes swallow up a whole house. I think I had that in my mind for sinkholes along the trail. Like they literally had it marked on the map like it was a pretty big deal. So I just thought they were gonna be humongous. Those weren't very big at all. Maybe five or six foot deep, six or seven at the, at the highest. Oh well, sure got a great view though looking over to ski trails, whatever that meant. I just seen mountains. I don't know what it was talking about ski trails. Half the stuff that's on the far out map and navigation, I don't even understand because I never see what it's actually talking about. All I know is I seen the beautiful mountains and that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. This little groundhog or prairie dog, whatever it is, just snarled at me. I came up to it, didn't see it there. And all of a sudden he went <laughs> like, what the heck? It might be rabbit or something. He has not moved from that rock. He's just standing there, so weird. Looks like a marmot <laughs> out west, but I guess that's a groundhog or a prairie dog. I don't know the difference, but I am going to go around him. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Now he's moving. Wonder what that was all about.